Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing great. As you all of you are doing summer internship in June July 2023. This video is about the report and the PPT which you are required to prepare for the evaluation of your summer internship subject, right? Before I guide you how you are required to prepare your report, some of the point I want to reinstate quickly. First, if you are selected through university, make sure your result is uploaded on UMS. In that case, no approval was required. If you are have arranged your self arranged summer internship, then the approval was required mandatorily for which you are re were required to prepare this form. I hope men, all of you have done. So these two options are depending upon how you are arranging it. But the third option, the form is mandatory to be filled, which is form is called as final company and MIS form. From this form, we will take your last date of summer internship, your manager details because we need to talk to them for your evaluation purpose, and we also visiting your company for the surprise visit related to your performance. Maximum student have filled this form, right? Some of have not filled, so they have been asked to fill it. So make sure they fill it. If you have filled this form and you want to edit this information, this form is open in this week. You can edit it. Who is required to edit? Like some students. Who are getting selected on one-year internship, right? They are living their summer internship in between, for which they will not have a certificate. So now that one-year internship, June July part will be considered as summer internship. So they are required to prepare the report and everything on the basis of that company only. So they need to edit the information in the MIS form with a new company they are working in. Otherwise, now you cannot change your company which has been finalized previously. When your viva will be conducted of 100 marks, what you are required to bring it on? First, very important thing is summer internship report. That is what this video is all about. That how you will prepare this report, what will be included in this report. The most important thing. Then the second most important thing which is required in your report is your summer internship completion certificate, right? So, uh, if you do not have a completion certificate, right, your internship will not be considered valid. Third thing which you need to bring in your viva is PPT. The fourth important point which is there is industry feedback form. You have to give you get your feedback filled from your manager, HR manager, or the manager under whom you are working. Sign, get the signed signature of that and this stamp of the company official so that we can consider that feedback form authentic. Right? The format is given at the end of this handbook. Then fifth point, it is not mandatory. If you have any stipend, if you have any letter of recommendation, any other award achievement, then you can put it them into your report, right? Why they they are required? Why I need to showcase this? I need not to tell you, right? That if you are getting a letter of recommendation, which shows that you know how good you have worked or performed well in your organization, so it add points to your. Evaluation also might not be directly, but indirectly, definitely it will get an impact. Any other additional document if required, we will inform you. Now, the, this is the summary of your summer training report preparation. The first thing should be the title page. The second should be the certificate. Some of the certificates are there. The first certificate is the completion certificate. The annexure is given in this handbook only. Appreciation certificate, stipend, award. For this, there is no uh, format, right? Whichever. Uh, way company wants to give you the appreciation for stipend. What could be the proof is like uh, the bank uh, statement proof or the uh, transfer money transfer they are doing it or any other certificate they are giving you that we are giving you uh, twenty thousand stipend or whatever, right? Otherwise there is no central form. And the mandatory industry form and attendance next year is given in third, right? All other things table figures are there. The most another important. Point of your handbook is the chapters. How and what would be the context? Because as you can see, you are required to prepare the report for around 50 to 60 pages. Can you make for 100 pages? Yes, there is nothing like that. Uh, length is there. You can do. There should not be any plagiarism and there should not be AI detection. Right? The chapters are there. The first chapter is the easy one where you have to put the introduction, uh, you know, uh, related to your industry, sector, organization, and what is their competitive positioning of this organization. The most important chapter, according to me, is this chapter two: introduction of topic and the problem statement. 
Now you might be wondering, sir, what is this uh, introduction of topic and the problem statement is? See, the role of any manager or of any management student is to solve the problems of an organization, right? So, in whichever organization you are working, in whichever role you are working, right? So, in that role, try to find out the problem statement of that organization. Let's say a student is there who is working in sales department, right? So, in sales department, either he can talk to the manager whom he is working directly from last couple of days or many days, right? That what is the sales problem? So, manager tells you that the sales is that from last six months, our sales are last six months, our sales are declining, right? So, declining. So, this is your problem statement. Or if your manager is not telling you, you can identify by yourself, right? So, I am not... Uh, taking the example of all the uh, area of in the internship same in the case of finance also like in the finance you can say that your organization is facing a pro uh, crunch of the uh, short term working capital or long term working capital or something like that so like this in any area might be you are working in business analytics so in business analytics you can identify yourself that what is the problem that organization is facing like I give you one example income tax department recently found some cases with the help of business analytics right some problems of the uh, the people who are filing the tax returns so like that being a business analytics student or being any domain area you can identify what is the problem in the organization by talking to the, your manager or by yourself and then start working on that problem now all other things you have studied in the research methodology that uh, what is the existing literature how the people in the literature they have solved the uh, those problems what is the research methodology like if if the sales problem is there why the sales are declining so you can identify the problem according to that you can make a questionnaire or you can get the secondary data on the basis of that you can identify this uh, problem statement scope objectives design the study what are the tools for the analysis you are going to use all those things are there and then Chapter 5 is data analysis and interpretation. Now you have first identified the problem, then you have uh, identified the research methodology, how you are going to solve the problem. Now you have solved the problem with the help of applying some tools and now it is the time to do the analysis. Now you might be wondering that the work where which I am doing, where that will come. So here comes the chapter 6. That whatever work has been assigned to you might whichever role you are in so you, what work has been assigned to you what you know what strategies you are applying over there what challenges you are facing what is the outcome of the work right everything has to be done over there right in the chapter six outcome of your work which you are doing then seventh chapter summary conclusion limitation recommendation this should also include the outcome of your summary internship that you can't say that you know i have not i have just done the sales i have just done the finance this work this is so whatever work you have done this is a important part of your summer internship and that is the outcome so you should think diligently and write it properly that what is the outcome of your summer internship right so how you and then last but not the least is references bibliography the howard and epa style all these things are there we are giving you the reference for this document also how your evaluation will be done 60 marks are for your report and 40 marks are for your viva right so uh, this report i have already told you how to prepare and as far as this your presentation is concerned so in the presentation we are telling you that minimum eight slides you should have the first slide should be related to your introduction and all those which we have already explained to you about so uh, if you anyone wants to showcase more of their related to the summer internship you are good to go you can increase the number of slides as do you want now in the last leg of this video is there some annexures are there so first page of your report should be the uh, report of you know this uh, title page of your so this is the title page format of your internship right this is how this page should look like right so then certificate see we are not giving you or asking you that this stringent document need to be followed every organization have their own certificate format but if your organization is not having the one then this can be 
followed that certified to this student registration number this name this program this start date this end date this right so this can be followed and the supervisor name and all those things right so so this is a sample certificate we are giving you it again i am repeating this is not mandatory to have this kind of certificate every organization has its own but couple of things are there your name your registration number your degree your dates should be mentioned in that so that yy evaluator can verify it last but not the least now all these things uh, declaration acknowledgement sample copies we have given it to you last but not the least is an extra 3 industry feedback form and attendance form right your name your organization now your industry mentor will rate you on this you can't say that you know your industry mentor is not rating you or giving you if they are not rating you you, you know major part of your evaluation you are losing here so you have to get your self marks out of these if you are working well they will definitely give you marks and they give every year so out of 10 out of 10 here out of 20 20 20 and out of total 100 how much marks you got then your attendance number of working days this is the calendar days let's say you started the internship on 1st june and it ended on 15th july because 45 calendar days so number of working days 45 calendar days right so num number of days student were present sundays are included when the organization is on leave is also included right they uh, for salary purpose every manager is aware of that if you have taken a leave due to any contingency or something like that let's say you have taken a leave for two days you were not well so here it will be written 43 days by your manager minimum 90 person you should have the attendance in your room if the students are on one year internship so what they will write when your internship is one year internship is starting for june july time period we will consider it as summer internship so you will not mention over here 365 days that i will be working no for the june july time period you mention here and the number of days you have worked and here your industry mentor need to rate you that what are the chances that after the completion of degree they will give you the ppo that they will recruit you i moderate or low whatever and they will give any specific observation then most important name of your manager right mr so and so their address company stamp signature and date that they are putting this document to you right so all these details are required now where is the link of this uh, form and the handbook it is under the description of this video right watch this video carefully and see the description for the handbook and the other documents link for your reference all the best prepare your report and presentation in a well appropriate manner thank you everyone all the best